At night, Washington, D.C. becomes a different city. Just blocks away from the White House, it's common to see prostitutes walk the streets. But what's not well known is that many are children. Here in Washington, D.C., it's a huge hub for sex trafficking in the U.S. Now, more than ever, it's easy to buy someone and it's easier to buy a child. Local pimps and traffickers in the D.C. area are preying upon predominantly girls, but also boys who are homeless, facing a lot of poverty. Men who purchase girls for sex in Washington, D.C. are often affluent, according to human rights advocates. Our girls will say that they see college boys, businessmen, politicians, police officers, international men, local men, and they just kind of see it all. Someone needs to have money to be able to afford a child. And when they're on the track, which is where the girls who are being prostituted are put out on, the cars that you see going by are nice cars. These are Cadillacs, these are BMWs. So these are professional men and oftentimes family men who are buying sex. Experts estimate at least 300,000 U.S. children are at risk of becoming victims of sex traffickers each year, with 13 as the average age. Child victims of trafficking are usually beaten and raped into submission. The one time he had beat me so bad that he had ruptured my spleen and it put me in the intensive care unit. So it's like once you knew that he could almost kill you, you'd rather do what he says than to get beat again. Experts warn the industry is growing, but so are the number of human rights groups fighting for stronger laws to punish predators and to help get these young kids off the streets. Courtney's house has an outreach program and passes out information to young girls so they know help is available and that there is a way out. The D.C. Human Trafficking Task Force is aggressively tackling predators who attempt to buy or sell children. But experts admit it is easier than ever for predators to buy young girls on the Internet, which leaves less of a paper trail for law enforcement. Rhonda Pence, Press TV, Washington.